you know, I ran for governor on the goal of achieving 100% renewable energy by 2040. Since I was elected, we've come a long way. We've locked in 80% renewable energy by 2030. By 20, uh, we're fifth in the nation for electric vehicle sales, and we're leading the way in clean energy technologies. Uh, today's work will further establish Colorado as a leader, and there's a lot more work to do to save people money on cars and energy and e-bikes. We have both here. We have a Ford Mustang Mach-E. We have an e-bike uh, rad wagon. These are examples of some of the great uh, electric vehicle technology and e-bike technology. Uh, and we know that we need to act on climate. In, in the last few years alone, Colorado has experienced the three largest wildfires in the history of our entire state and the most destructive fire in the history of our state at the end of 2021. Not to mention, Coloradans are frustrated by high home heating costs, high gas prices, because of our reliance on expensive fuel, it's past prices, international commodities markets, it's beyond the control of Coloradans. Today, we want to make sure we empower Coloradans to save money. As you know, a few weeks ago, I called on the Public Utilities Commission and Energy Office and our utilities to look at ways to reduce costs for Coloradans. I want to thank the legislature for their special committee to look into high costs and provide relief. Today is about those longer term solutions uh, to climate, to saving people money, to reliable clean energy alternatives. Uh, that's why this comprehensive package today will save people money and expand access to clean energy, cut red tape to accelerate the clean energy transition, and further Colorado's position, Colorado's position as a leader in clean energy solutions. That includes tax credits that save people uh, an additional $3,000 on high efficiency heat pumps. Tax credits to reduce the cost of electric vehicles like this Ford Mustang by $5,000 and electric bikes by $800. Geothermal energy, systemic system around carbon sequestration and reduction, reducing pollution from industrial facilities, and more for cleaner air, for doing our part on climate, and for reducing costs. These efforts are about our moral obligation to fight to protect the world we live in for ourselves and for future generations. We can have clean air and more affordable forms of transportation. We can eat our homes sustainably and save people money on their utility bills. We can live in a world that has cleaner air and lower costs. And I'm committed to working to make major progress towards our climate goals. And this exciting whole package is a big part of that. Thank you all for joining us. Welcome to Colorado's Clean Energy Future. <laughs>